This is the first in a series of videos about long multiplication. And I'm going to begin by doing two straightforward examples. Question number one, use long multiplication to find the answer to 67 times 4. Before I even begin this calculation, I'm going to find an estimate for the answer. 67 is roughly equal to 70, and 70 multiplied by 4 is equal to 280. So my estimate to the question 67 times 4 is 280. That is my estimate for the answer. That means I know that the, the final answer to 67 times 4 is going to be roughly 280. Okay, now I'm going to use one box for each number as I set out this calculation using long multiplication. This is the tens column, this is the units column. 67 multiplied by 4. As with all long multiplications, you start on the right-hand side and you start by multiplying the top right number by the bottom right number. So we will start by doing 7 times 4 in a moment, and then that will be followed by doing 6 times 4. Seven times four is 28. So I'll write 20 and eight. I've written the 20 small because I'm going to use that in the next part of the calculation. 60 times four, and remember that six is in the tens column, so it's worth 60. 60 times four is 240, plus the 20 that I've got waiting there is 260. So my answer to 67 times 4 is 268. If I compare that to the estimate, I can see that they're quite close in number, which makes me think that 268 is probably correct. But if there's time in a test or on a piece of homework, I should always go over my calculations because I'm quite prone to making mistakes. 7 times 4 is 28. I'll put the 20 down there. And the 8 up here, and then 6 times 4, 60 times 4, 60 times 4 is 240, plus the 20 that I had there waiting, 260, 268 then is my final answer, and I'm happy with that. Let's try another example, question 2, use long multiplication to find the answer to 53 times 9. As ever, I'm going to begin with finding an approximate answer. 53 is roughly equal to 50. And 50 times 9 is equal to 450. So my estimate for this question is 450. If you're doing this as part of a test, it's always a good idea to show your estimate and show the examiner your working method. So 53 times 9, I've got my tens column, units column, 53 multiplied by 9. I'll start with 3 times 9 and then 50 times 9 and find the answer. 3 times 9 is 27. 5 times 9, or 50 times 9, I should say, is 450, plus the 20 that i got waiting for me, as 470. So my final answer is 477. And comparing that with the estimate, again, I find that it's close. So I'm probably right. But I need to check one more time, just to be doubly sure. 3 times 9 is 27. I'll write the 2 there, the 7 there. 50 times 9 is 450, and 450 plus 20 is 470. So that gives me the final answer of 477. I'm probably right. Okay, that's the end of the first video. Click on the next video to find out how to multiply two two-digit numbers.